Welcome to Renaissance Charge Videos. I'm Rick Friedrich and here's the second video on the cellulizer. So today we're going to look at a different battery than the forklift battery. Um, this particular battery hasn't been charged in five years. Um, the last time it was charged was on the cellulizer back in uh, 2012. So maybe five and a half years, somewhere around there. <clears throat> what happened with this battery is this battery was pulled out of a bank of 24 volts. And this is one of these Solar One HUP batteries. They're really good batteries. Um, they're a lot more, a lot smaller uh, for the amp hour. So they're a lot lighter and smaller. It's a really unique design of the plates, so forth. Anyway, this battery was the worst one out of a bank of 24. It was pulled out, and then it was um, left for a year out of the bank. So it, it swelled a little bit because they put them in the case to hold them in place. So you can see it swells a little bit um, when it's by itself. So it sat for a year unused as the worst cell that was bringing the rest of the battery banks down. So we had restored those other big batteries for this customer, the big AT&T cell phone tower batteries. And then this was another example we wanted to see if we could restore. So the customer actually gave me the battery because they had no use for one cell. And so I restored it five years ago and then it sat uh, and discharged for five years not being used so I decided to give it a run right now to see um, how it would respond after all these years and <clears throat> so what I did uh, the first thing I did was just charge it up with regular DC and um, just to put enough uh, power into it to use it because it was sitting at point three volts and I wanted to have at least some charge in it to start. So we started off charging this battery and it gave me two amp hours which we'll see in the code here uh, in the display and then um, it charged up as much as it could for the first charge cycle and the first charge cycle only brought it to um, after it rested for um, I think it's uh, 10 hours or so or 8 hours so it was completely um, at ambient temperature it gave me a voltage of about 2.05 volts which if you convert that to a 12 volt cell which you're used to that would be like um, it was around 2.3 or 12.3 volts if it was a 12 volt battery. So we know that's not considered fully charged. And yet we loaded it down and it gave from 2 amp hours it went up to 1,155 amp hours. <laughs> so it held that, that voltage. Um, in an operating voltage <clears throat> for that long which was 500, 580 minutes and so now it's going into yet another cycle um, to charge up again and then we'll load it down a third time and it may um, gain it should gain quite a bit more in the second the real the second real cycle and that voltage should go higher then and it should be able to um, rest at a higher voltage so a couple of things to notice here we'll look at the numbers in a minute and um, first thing is I connected this to 220 now it's a 220 volt model actually and uh, for the customer and um, 
we have it all assembled now. I just have the lid uh, not attached right now so I can check inside when I need to. But anyway, the specific gravity, well, the first thing to notice is uh, I put too much water in there and the water came out. Um, and so I lost some acid. But I'm going to wait before I add any more acid after it's fully rejuvenated to see where it's at because you don't want to have too much acid in a battery. So I'm going to look at it right here and we can see it's still in the red on the meter here, hydrometer. Now when I first started it was in the clear so it wasn't even it had nothing. So one one two five zero right now. And we got it down to one two yeah twelve hundred basically. And we're outside of the um, good condition of a battery. <laughs> and yet we still got well, I mean, it's still charging right now, so it's not a good time to check this. Once it's fully charged, it should go back into the white and eventually into the green once we've fully rejuvenated this battery. But right now, it is charging, and it will continue to charge for many more hours. As you can see, we're at... Um, Twelve point twenty six volt or sorry two point two six volts and climbing on the display it says two point two one slight voltage um, difference depending on the meters that you use. So let's look at um, some details here. So we have a clamp ammeter again, and we're going to look at the amperage. So we have 127 amps, more or less, as the battery takes the charge more, then the amps will go up and the beginning of the charge will have more amps than the end of the charge. And then um, we have to watch the water, put a little bit of water in there every cycle, every time it um, gets near the end of the charge we should look at the water more specifically, make sure it's above, the water level is above the plates. So let's look at specifically right now the um, details of the um, so let's look at the display here. So you can see that it's charging cycle mode 2 and the capacity is at 1100 and um, what was it 55 55 amp hours power level 6 cell voltage 2.21 now you can see the last game was over a thousand percent and so we're going to go over here to the display and look at the details. So it actually gave over 5,700, or no, 57,650 percent increase because we only had two amp hours to start. So let's, we can see two amp hours for two minutes before the battery voltage went down 
to a level that was not usable. Then it went into charging and then it went into loading after a rest. So you can see the voltage references um, while it's charging it it measures the voltage so here we can see 1469 was the number um, which is an internal number for the machine and then it so it started at 1469 at the beginning of that particular run in this case it's starting at 1510 so we're go what we're going to see is a higher voltage now um, starting out a higher voltage and then we're going to end off with a higher voltage and so here we ended off with 1638 so we have a while to go you can see the increments are going up 20 uh, 20 digits so if we look at This is the the actual log. And you can see here the measurement of the amp hours. So like I said it's it's continual as long as I have the logging on there. So that is uh, good news so far. So this is this particular battery is um, I looked it up again, and it's a um, it's really a 1,200 amp hour battery, 1,200 usable amp hours. Uh, full amp hour rating is about 1500 amp hours um, but you don't you can't uh, register the uh, full amp hours because it's not considered like a 12 volt battery is only measured down to 10.5 volts these batteries are measured down to sometimes um, the equivalent of 8 volts on a 12 volt battery uh, whatever that is in two volts, one point something. Anyway, um, this so this battery is already pretty much back to its original capacity, and we still haven't even got the um, the voltage up all the way. And uh, so I think we can get another third more power out of this. Um, and we can have a higher starting voltage in this uh, in this setup. So, so you can see the acid has spilled over. It has to be all cleaned up now. Uh, I'm not touching it while it's running, and the aluminum has become uh, sprayed with the acid um, through the vent cap. This one doesn't have a hydro cap on it. Um, anyway, the level six charging mode is going to bring this cell up to um, over 130, 130 amps, both in the charging and the loading. And then, as it increases capacity, that will rise. And so, if you had a bigger battery, it's going to draw more because it's going to hold a higher voltage and therefore a higher amperage on the system. So, um, anyway, this is how it's going to. This is how it looks when it's assembled. We have again the 
uh, level select LED status that you didn't see before on the last video and um, it's pretty straightforward look at the other video for um, the details on all the features and options here so um, we're just giving this a full run to see um, what the response is on this particular build of this charger and uh, so far it has functioned properly so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it